To many motorcyclists, Indian Motorcycle is the gold standard. The product line has a stellar reputation for quality and originality. The company's incessant efforts to break new ground have yielded a number of cutting-edge innovations that have won the hearts of riders all over the world. The Indian Scout Bobber is a good example of such a bike. The Indian Scout Bobber is a rugged beast that exemplifies the brand's commitment to staying competitive with industry leaders like Harley. The Indian Scout Bobber is a top-notch motorcycle that pays homage to the legendary Indian bikes of yesteryear. A historical figure who has been brought back to life, the Indian Scout Bobber is a cutting-edge feat of motorcycle designed construction. The Indian Scout Bobber's captivating aesthetics are derived from those of the original Scout models. These century-old bikes were formidable opponents to the Indian Chief, the company's current flagship model. In instance, the Model 101 was very popular back in the day. It was generally agreed that this model was the finest Indian motorcycle ever produced. This massive and durable metal horse rode into widespread usage as a military bike when the manufacture of most motorcycles and automobiles ceased due to conflicts and the subsequent post-war recessions. The legacy that the Retro Scout eventually established was sadly neglected for decades. As recently as 2001, Indian Motorcycle dug the Scout out of storage and gave it a complete overhaul. The Indian Scout Bobber is a dynamic road machine with luxury features, striking good looks, and an air of machismo making it an ideal investment for anyone seeking both. Inspiration for the Indian Scout Bobber came from classic motorcycles popular among the Bobber subculture. The bike's design is inspired by classic bikes from the past, and it features elements like side-mounted license plates, shortened front and rear mudguards, a lower handlebar and seat, etc. The 983cc 60 cubic inch engine in the 2022 Indian Scout Rogue 60 has a compression ratio of 11.0 to 1. It's an alternative to the Harley-Davidson Sportster. The bore of the liquid-cooled V-twin engine is 54 millimeters. A five-speed gearbox with a wet, multi-plate clutch complements the engine. The Scout Rogue has a maximum RPM of 5,800 and produces a maximum of 78 horsepower and 65 pound-feet of torque. The Rogue weights 540 pounds with its 3.3-gallon tank full, light enough for nimble handling and exciting enough for hours of play. To sum up, the Scout Rogue 60 has everything you need for a good time on the road, but none of the extra frills. In contrast to other options like the Indian Chief Dark Horse, the small ape hangers will immediately stand out. Unexpectedly, the little apes got a lot of praise. It's great for making unique styles quickly. Combine that with the tiny quarter fairing over the headlight, and you have a winning combination that seems like it was designed to be there all along. Even though the tiny fairing has no effect on wind speed, it makes the Scout Rogue 60 look much better. Once you get all the way back there, you'll find a fuel tank that's just right. Although beautifully crafted, its limited size is a major drawback. When completely full, this tank won't take you more than about 140 miles. This model's personalized appearance is maintained by the predominance of black finishes and the near total absence of chrome accents. It has matte black wheels, an engine cover, an exhaust system, and most of the minor trim elements. The 25.6-inch tall seat is as low as it gets. The Rogue 60 does not feature a back seat, so your passengers will have to sit in the trunk. However, without that seat, the bike takes on a more custom bobber aesthetic. The 2022 Scout Rogue 60's design, in general, is uncomplicated and functional. Even though it has a very basic layout, the 2022 Indian Scout Rogue 60 is equipped with all the necessary gadgets to ensure a pleasurable and secure journey. Simple information is displayed on the single gauge, which can be accessed independently. A simple switch on the left side of your handlebar activates a digital tachometer, odometer, trip meter, engine temperature, and low fuel lamp. The Rogue's new front wheels are cast aluminum and are 19 inches in diameter. The bike's agility is much improved by the new thinner tires. Although it will cost you an extra $900, anti-lock brakes, ABS, are a must and should not be overlooked. It's immediately apparent how low the seat is on the 2022 Indian Scout Rogue 60. Because of the low seating, the little ape hangers seem considerably larger than they actually are. Despite my height of 6 feet 2 inches, I felt comfortable in the Scout. It seemed too small in photographs and in person, but the ride was much more comfortable and well-fitting than I had anticipated. A single push of the starter button brings the 60 CIV twin to a spectacular roaring life. Take note that pressing and holding the button to initiate the process is not required. Instead, you may put the bike in neutral, press the button once, 
and the Scout will start up with a throaty tone tailored specifically to motorcyclists. Mini ape hangers deserve all the credit for the pleasant riding position. Perhaps it's because I'm tall, but I feel that the bike would be too little if the handlebars were any lower. When you shift into first gear, the gearbox will clunk into place in a rather unrefined manner, and the clutch lever will drop so you can finally get some speed. The lack of aerodynamics is typical of bicycles equipped with monkey hangers. You'll still feel a strong wind surge behind you despite the thin front fairing. That's why we ride bikes once again. It's exciting to speed up. It has decent acceleration for a tiny cruiser, but it won't blow your head off like the 2022 BMW S1000RR we just examined. If the footrests could be moved forward by a couple of inches, they'd be ideal for my long legs. This roll could be ideal for someone who isn't quite 6 feet tall. The lean angle of 29 degrees causes frequent peg scraping. This exemplifies how nimble and agile the Rogue is when navigating tight turns. It's great at handling corners and making you feel like you're not even on a cruiser. The foot pegs will serve as a constant reminder that you are only a few short steps away from ruining your expensive, intricately designed matte black exhaust system. The front suspension is silky smooth and has plenty of travel, but the back is tight and has only 2 inches of travel. On rough road dips, the back end practically bottoms out, providing you a nice kick in the rear and serving as a warning to steer clear of potholes wherever possible. The Scout Rogue's optional anti-lock braking system allows you to stop in an instant without having to worry. The Rogue's comfortable seat, swift acceleration, and seamless gear changes make it the ideal vehicle for long rides. In all honesty, I probably wouldn't have pulled over if the gas tank hadn't been so puny. The fatigue in my hands didn't set in for at least another three hours. With a slightly larger gas tank, the 2022 Indian Scout Rogue 60 could be the reason you never make it home on time. The aesthetics of the Indian Scout Rogue 60 are impossible to dislike. Mini ape hangers probably aren't for everyone, however, we find that they improve our riding position. The Scout was fine for three weeks, but I worry that a big rider like me may eventually find it too cramped. The engine is lively, riding it is a thrill, and the stopping power is surprisingly strong for such a compact motorcycle. However, the rear suspension may be too harsh for a cruiser. It's possible that a solution could be to equip the bikes with adjustable suspension so that riders can choose whether they want to have fun on the curves or take it easy. So, that is all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, and do hit the bell icon on your way out.